Hi folks, welcome to another Tuesday's Tools, Tips and Tricks brought to you by NYC CNC. I love magnets and today I'm going to show you nine awesome things you can do with them in the home shop. Need to hold something at a 90 degree angle? Use one of these welding magnets. Having a hard time removing a battery? Use a magnet. Third hand tools are great, but sometimes they themselves are unstable. Use a few magnets to hold it down. Need to make some notes on the wall, but don't have a whiteboard? Use whiteboard magnetic strips. Tired of always losing screws on the end of screwdrivers? Use one of these magnetizers to magnetize the tip. Need to chase a wire down a wall or down a column or who knows where? Tie the wire to a string on a magnet and you drop the magnet down the wall and catch it on the other end with a piece of metal or another magnet. Need to pick a bunch of shit up, take a magnet, put it inside a rag, hold the parts over your box, and remove the magnet. When you drop a screw into the absolute worst place possible, use a telescoping magnet. One of my favorites are these magnetic tool holders. Here's a magnetic base holder with a dial indicator in it, although you could use a lot of different tools to position or support something. Turn it off, free to move around, turn it on, rock solid. Many of the magnets we've been talking about today are rare earth magnets. They're great magnets, they're awesome, they're super strong. Uh, you can get them easily, they're pretty inexpensive. Even the most powerful ones here are generally less than a dollar each. And they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. I've got mostly disc versions here. We've got a semicircle, and they have different features. This stack here is a set that includes an adhesive back. When you're working with rare earth magnets, you absolutely need to be wearing leather gloves. I'll show you why. Here are two rare earth magnets, about the size of a quarter, three eighths inch thick. They are very difficult to separate. These have a nylon washer in between them to make that easier, but you'll see they are requiring a tremendous amount of force and they will snap back together and they can pinch you or larger versions can even break a finger. And that's the reason you need to wear gloves is if they do snap back together, or by wearing a leather glove, you'll be able to slide your hand out uh, much more easily. And just for kicks, to show you how strong these are, I've got one of those magnets on the left, 12 inch ruler, I'm gonna edge this one over towards it. Like so. Again, take a look on YouTube, you'll see some examples of larger versions that can smash small fruits and uh, fingers easily. So if you wanna learn more or research more on magnets, check out a couple of these sites. Here's a Rust-Oleum magnetic paint. I've never used this, but it looks interesting. You can turn any wall or surface into a magnetic surface. McMaster Car is a great source for both information and for magnets. Not always the cheapest, but they do have a great selection and great pictures. This is where I purchased the tool rack I just showed you earlier. RareEarthMagnets.com is a great manufacturer of uh, rare earth magnets and you can see a, a selection of all the different sizes. Super Magnet Man, this guy's a character. Uh, I purchased from him before. Great magnets, great YouTube videos. Be sure to check it out. And finally, magnets aren't just for home and hobby use. Uh, there are a lot of industrial uses including work holding, fixture holding, surface grinding, and here's one example of where you can use magnetics to hold parts in, in full-blown industrial applications. I hope you've enjoyed this video, folks. If you do, please subscribe, comment below, stay tuned for more. Thanks.